why would you want to use an observable? Well, it's really great for things that arrive over time, like key presses, mouse movements, button clicks, um, and of course, our HTTP responses. Um, because as you recall, when you um, access HTTP, you issue a request with our HTTP get, put, post, whatever. So you issue that request. It first has to find its way to the endpoint. And then once it's found its way off to that endpoint, then it executes some code. Maybe it calls the stored procedure on SQL Server and it has to collect the data. And so it's all taking some amount of time. At some later point in time, that response is actually returned to you. Um, and so it's a really good uh, use of observables. You can also use it for notifications, process complete, process failure, and so on. Using an observable helps us very easily react to arrivals or emissions and those notifications. The other cool thing about observables though is they also work with synchronous data. So you can treat an array as an observable. You can, retreat, you can treat any set of data as an observable. So it doesn't necessarily have to arrive on time, but that's really what it's good at. If you like this video, please like and subscribe.